Good, whatever it is, I'm Antelos, welcome back to Space Engineers. So, it's kind of been forever since I last played, let's check how some of this stuff is going. And that's in range now, interesting. We'll go to home base, ah, uh, there we go, it's refining gold again. So it's slowly building this up, I think we have enough resources to finish this. We are lacking a couple other things, like sufficient power. And that's actually what I want to focus on today. So we're going to run up here real quick. And I'm going to refill my oxygen just because that's going to bother me. And I'm sure it will... I'm assuming it will probably bother someone else to see that I'm at 45% oxygen. So, there, we're refilled. And let's run downstairs. So the plan for today is we're going to need to generate power. And a lot of it. So I'm thinking we're gonna build a solar farm. And there are several ways we can do that. Oh, that's the mobile repair ship. I forgot what that was. Again, like I said, it's it's kind of been a very, very long time. So we'll take this. We left the mining ship in the way. It's not a big deal. Um it'll be fine. So many thrusters on here, and it needs so many more too. Let's see if we can fix the thruster problem real quick while I'm thinking about it. And boof. That's it, we're done. It's it's completely fixed now, right? No, oh, I, I know it needs more thrusters in other directions. It will need more upward thrusters. It really struggled to carry everything that was in it. And it needs more forward thrusters than the three it has. Ah, oh, this is not a beautiful ship at all. But that's okay. We're going to leave it be for now. So in my inventory, I'm carrying steel plates. And yeah, we're going to take this out. And unlock. And this basement is really dark still. I tried to fix that a little bit off camera, but apparently it didn't work as well as I thought it did. Just head out of here. And we're not going to need this for a little bit. For now, I'm just going to park it up here. And I'll explain why. So. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to expand out from here. Uh, should I do it on center or just slightly off center? I'm going to do it on center. And this is just going to be our framework to get back there. I might change this to something that looks more appropriate later. Something that looks more like cabling. The sun is that way, so I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're just going to build back here a little ways and we're going to make a ton of solar panels. I think this will still be in range. Let's check that real quick. What's the range? Base, build and repair group. I think there's a slider for the range. 75 meters. Okay. Uh, we're probably further than that. Hmm. I'm gonna continue because the nanite system is gonna come online and that's gonna take care of this eventually. And it won't at first, but I'll set something up to do it. We'll just build up. And it's, it's gonna be really, really simple for now. Playing with fire by doing that, I know. But we're gonna start, I think, two up. And. There we go. That's one side. Oof. 
Solar farm. That's enough for now, at least, I'm thinking. Um, maybe what I should do is rather than building another build and repair system out here, build a welder ship. Although that's kind of obsolete with the nanite systems. That could do all of this work for me. And I'm gonna want that bigger, I'm sure of that too. What if, rather than making one massive tower, we made multiple towers side by side? I keep thinking when I'm doing that I'm pressing run, not fly. We're gonna come down here. Probably far enough away. These are four along. But we're gonna do some counting real quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I want a one gap. One, two, three, four, and center column. Well, that worked out rather well. Oops. Get that one up in a moment. I wasn't keeping track of how I was going, of course. Five. Start from the bottom again. Don't want it to touch ground anywhere. That should... Yeah, that's where we're gonna start. Yeah, we're not high enough. Far off, either. down. And what else I'm thinking I'm going to do is I am going to bring a large reactor online. And that will let me have a backup system and let it run during the night as well. Oh, this gap is bigger than I thought it was going to be. You know what, that's okay with me though. The gap is about our solar panel wide. I just confirm that. Yeah. That is a solar panel wide. So we could actually connect these. And then I'll build another one off to this other side later. Maybe I should face these up the other way. I don't know. I'll figure that out. So, run back here. And my original plan was to build this a lot further away, which is why I grabbed this, but obviously that's not needed anymore. I'm gonna head back down to the basement. How are you doing on this? Eh, we're getting there. 55 more grab. 54 more gravity generated from bonds. Oh, dang. So, a reactor. I'm thinking we'll do the reactor right here. And it's already got half the plumbing we need for it, too. We'll just have to move it over. Do I have... I do have girders to do this. And we're going to run out soon, I'm sure. Oh, except for I'm going to want to go down like I did on the other side. So we'll go down immediately, too. And I am going to paint some of these just to have the nanite system remove it instead. Sort of making me do it all by hand. I just want some more girders so I can put these down properly.
30 girders. We're gonna need probably a few more. Thirty-six. Forty-two should be enough, I think. Weird hitboxes on these, though. For the grinder, at least. I assume if you shot at it with a gun, it would just disappear like normal. Okay. That is such an ugly color. So perfect for the cement, too. Okay. So we went with now the less steep ramps, and we'll do the same thing over here. We also might want to bring. Ah, we're getting the nanite system online, so I don't think we're going to need a second building repair system. Part of me wants it just to make this a little bit less painful. Maybe that one we could have on grind before weld, too. Down my pipes area. I don't remember if I did the pipes on camera or not, but there they are. In all their weird glory. That bothers me so much. I think they just need to let it fall sometimes. Okay. bits that shouldn't even be there or preventing me. Eight. So one of the things I've... Sorry for the long silence, I'm just trying to figure out how exactly I want to do this. One of the things I have been meaning to talk about today is the reason why I haven't been putting out as many videos. It's because life all of a sudden got a little crazy, and some of it was expected and some of it wasn't. And so for those of you don't, that don't know me, I'm going to school right now and working full time. So that just makes it hard time-wise anyways. And then some interesting stuff happened to my job and I'm kind of trying to figure out what I am going to be doing for the next long, long time. Oh dear. Backwards. So I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to go to school and basically work is having me do second schooling. So I'm getting a degree and I'll I'll basically be getting a second degree at the same time and so that's just taking all the time I have and this is wrong this is still wrong okay oh geez and okay so what I want it to do What if we just do this? And it's going to take more resources, but I'm not going to have to think this through as much, because uh, clearly I can't think. I think. There. Herders. Scrap metal. 
so. Which, and this means we'll have to move our conveyor system. This whole room means that anyways. So it's, it's fine. Maybe we don't need to go this low, actually. Because... We look at the reactor. Large reactor... Is... what? Three tall? This right here is three tall. Go down one more. Is this four tall? We could have a gap above it. Don't know if that's really necessary. But we're going to do it anyways. Cut all this out. And we'll let us know where we need the floor to. I almost sealed myself in. We can cut this stuff out too. Those rocks annoy me so much. This is the general idea of how this is going to look. So we'll want this conveyor to go even lower. Then I'm thinking we'll build an actual wall right here, a concrete wall. Have this stone. And I'm going to bring down the mining ship to do the rest of this too. I just like getting the idea down by hand. Feels a bit more personal. And... Obviously, we're going to need more concrete. A lot more concrete. I'm out of girders. Okay. So we need more concrete, more girders. And we'll build up this wall. And then we're going to stack the reactors against this wall on the side right here and I'm thinking we'll do two or three of them we could Does that work out two or five we could center them actually yeah I think I'm gonna want to center them I don't know let's see what we need we still have Assembler 3 that's basically not given to running. Production. Assembler 3. And I need... Punk Retitles by the thousands. Only 500 ought to cut it for now. And... I'll do... 1000 girders as well. Bump up our order to 3,500, just for fun. And that will let this all get built. So we've kind of laid the, the framework that will let this come online. We still have a couple other things to do. The main purpose I want this to do is mining. And so we're going to keep this on the base for now, but I want to build a mobile ship that can do it. And how realistic that is, I'm not sure about doing one in atmosphere because I've been told that they take, what, two or three large reactors are on this, and so an atmospheric ship would have to be massive. And a ground base can have a massive solar farm and be fine, or it can have the reactors and not have to lift at all, and that's fine as well. But to lift that plus this and all the needed 
everything is gonna be quite something. And then the thrusters to lift all that right require an extra reactor or two. So we're probably talking anywhere from three to five large reactors for an atmospheric ship. And I'm just worried that that's not going to have much flight time at all. So we'll get something figured out. Maybe a rover. Not a huge fan of the idea, but that might work. And then we can have a mobile base to go around and help mine things. And pop a scout or something on it and then just park it over ore deposits. But anyways, that's what I'm thinking about that for now. We'll get the rest of this figured out, but I'm a toss. I'll catch you later.